welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you today with a Michaels, a small Michaels and Joann's haul. Um, I got more at Joann's than I did at Michaels because they had a good bit of stuff on clearance. So um, I went to Michaels for their uh, paint because I needed a certain kind of paint that Walmart wasn't carrying or don't carry. Um, so, uh, let's see. Start with Michaels, moving to Joann's. So, we're going to start with Michaels. Um, side note real quick. I plan on doing the drawing for the giveaway tomorrow. I'm going to finish working, making sure everything is put together, um, for the video tomorrow. Um, so, y'all be watching. Those of you that entered, the, vid the video for the giveaway will be tomorrow. Um... Anywho, let's see. I'll start with paint that I got because they had a 20% off your entire purchase. Um, I got, this is just, a, I guess, just a clear type glitter paint. Um, the one I have is hollow and I needed, I needed one that was a white, clear, whatever, just adds a shimmer. So, um, I got that. And then I got this is um, white pearl. I have uh, this owl that I'm wanting to kind of repaint, clean up and repaint it. Um, I wanted to stick, I mean, it's a beautiful owl, but I think I want to add a little bit of shading and a little bit of color. I want to paint the owl more of a um, a pearl kind of color. Um, and it's got these beautiful yellow beaded eyes. I think beautiful. My husband found this. I don't know where he found this. but So I wanted to kind of fix that because I think that's more of like a snow owl and that's kind of why. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to shake the table. That's kind of why I got the glitter, because I figured it would make a good little accent, you know, like it's got shimmering, you know, like how snow, when the sun hits the snow, it, it shimmers a little bit. So that's kind of what I wanted to do. Um, and I got, these are satin, oh no, I may have got the wrong. Okay, so this is what I needed. I was making sure I was right. That's what I was reading. Um, I got brown, you know, because I've been having to make my own brown, and it don't turn out like the brown that, you know, like that kind of brown, you know. So it always ends up being too dark or mostly black, and I, I don't know. And then I got this one's called Golden Brown. And I figured this would make good, because there is some wood, like, in the bottom. So, I figured this would make good um, wood colors. So, anyway, on to the next. I found these. And I used a, a coupon for these, I believe. Yeah. And I thought these were really pretty uh, for embellishments. Um, really wanting to finally get back to doing what I love to do and that's crafting and making my jewelry. I've been sick all week. I don't know. It, we've had some really nutty weather here in Georgia and you could, I'm still a little weak eyed. Um, but I've been really, really sick all week. I still have a lot of drainage and stuff and it's just been really bad. Um, been a bad week. Um, I found this washi tape and it's got butterflies all over it. And these are their $2 washi um, that they have and it's by Craft Smart 5 Yards Crafting Tape. So I picked up one that's going to go in the envelope for the giveaway and I picked me up two because I love butterflies. Anybody that knows me knows I love butterflies. Um, I did pick up a few beads. I was very disappointed. 
and my Michaels in their bead section has really gotten bad. Um, so I'm going to just stick to buying my stuff online um, because Michaels selection, even Joann's, has gotten horrible to buy beads. It's bad. They have taken a whole top section of a shelf out of the beads. It's just nuts the way they've got it set up. I don't like it. But I did find these, and these are like a mirrored chrome. This is a shinier, sparkly, but these are like a mirrored chrome kind of beads, and they're really pretty. And then I found these silver hearts, and I thought this was this would make a beautiful bracelet just like it is. So um, I may go back and get another one. I should have got two, but you know how it is. And then I saw these, and I've seen these there before, and so I was like, you know what, I think I'm going to get them. I think they're cute. They would make pretty accents for necklaces, beaded necklaces. So, yes. Um, so, anyway, let me turn his TV down, guys. Not my TV. Um, but these are the beads I got. They kind of put me in the mind of, uh, I can't think of the name of it. Like, uh, like the boho style, I guess, maybe. I don't know. But I think they're really pretty. So those were the only beads I got. And then the last thing I got from Michaels was they always have these on sale. And I picked up another one. I love these. I use these for storage. Um... Because I think they're more decorative. And you got this place right here where you can label what's in it. Um, this one, I do not have this one. It says, Live the Life. It says, Life is beautiful on each side. And it says, Live the life you love and love the life you live. I think that's what it says. It's got it blocked right here, but I'm kind of guessing that's what it says. But anyway, but it's really pretty. It's got a hydrangea on it, and we love these. Our hydrangea looks just like this. And, of course, the butterfly. So, anyway, on to the next, which is Joann's. Um, Joann's, I got a lot of clearance stuff. It's a lot of little stuff, but it's still clearance stuff because I said I wanted to get into some... Um, ATC, doing ATC cards, artist trading cards. Um, I did pick up some more jump rings to go, uh, to do what I need to do for, I got a hair on my face, sorry guys. Um, to do what I need to do for the challenge prize, which you will find out tomorrow what that is. Um, which it's a bunch of little stuff, but there is a main gift that I am that I am working on. So um, let's see. I'm kind of separating all this stuff. I'll show you the um, all this stuff was on clearance. This I got some of these gears, and they have a little gemstone um, in the middle. I thought these were really really cute. And I thought these would look good on um, as an embellishment for an ATC card because I've seen people use them. Um, I picked up a couple of packages of these butterflies. And these are stickers, but they're metal. These are metal stickers. I thought they were really neat. I'm going to open one, y'all. Oh, wow. Okay, I see. It's got a little foam thing on the back. So, but it is definitely metal and there are butterflies. And I picked up two. Because I wanted to. I picked up two of these. I thought these were, these are the love, live, and laugh. So, you know, I can even use these as... Hold on just a second, guys. Mm, let's see. Um, I thought I could use these as, because I know you, when you do artist trading cards, um, some people do them in a series. So I figured, you know, we can have uh, the love, live, and laugh um, series, since that is a very common 
Um, and I love the way these look, the vintage looking frame stickers. And these are stickers also. I picked up two of those. Um, let's see. I don't know where, where else to go. I picked up these. I only picked up one of these. They only had one. And each of these are like a buck ninety seven. So and I thought these were really cute also. And these are stickers also. And these are like I said, metal stickers. I think they're I think mean, they're cool. I love these. Huh. And then let's see what else. What else? Oh, I picked up some of these. These are some more different types of gears. Um these make very neat embellishments, so I thought these were cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. I also have these. Um, these are a brass. These are brass template templates. Um, stencil. Uh, you can emboss, stencil, paste, burn. Um, and it shows the different things you can do on the back. This is one that I got. I think this is really cool. Um, if you had the the burning tools, which I do have a um, what do they call that? The We Are Memory Keepers burning, you know, hot thing that I can't think of the name of it that you used to make. Um, shakers with and stuff so I do have one of those but you can paste burn emboss and use it as a stencil so I think that is really cool like you can use your ink um, from uh, like a you can use it for the paintbrush that's what it shows on the back see and I think these are so cool. And this one says, Believe, Hope, and Dream. So I picked this one up too. I thought this was really pretty. And then I picked up two of the butterflies. I had to because they're butterflies. And I got the last two they had. So I got two. And um, like I said, these are I guess these are brass and you know you can reuse them and I'm assuming you can <laughs> I think you can because you use them to emboss and so yeah I believe you can reuse the stencils because you use them as a stencil I don't know I'm, I'm new to all this stuff so um, and then I found these little charm looking things and I picked up two of these also, that I figured these would look cute on the um, artist trading cards also. So, um, when I start working on them, and I figured, you know, these might be good here to start get me started. And it is, um, this is by the brand Seven Gypsies. And it looks, that's... What exactly what it looks like like they would be your because see you can see on the back this is what's in the pack and you get all different kinds of little cutouts and then on the back it shows the different little cards so I figured you know this might be a good starter for me or something I don't know I'll figure it out um, the last thing I got from Joann's was also the, it's a Seven Gypsies paper pad. Um, it is a double-sided paper pad, and it was only $4, guys. And this is, I love this vintage look. I'm really loving the, and you can kind of see, I just think these are so cool. You can kind of see the other side has different kinds of writing and flowers and I mean it's just really neat. These are, this is a really neat pad. And the other side I would use mostly for the 
ATC cards because they have a lot more um, that I would use that for. The other side I would use as backgrounds for flip books and stuff like that. I think these are said, look at the old bingo cards. So, yeah, these are pretty neat. This was a pretty neat paper pad. This was a pretty cool find. I like this. And I like Paris themed stuff. So, um, where am I at? Yep, that is it for this video. I do have another hit video coming, and that is going to be my Walmart and Dollar Tree haul. And, um, so, I will get it up as soon as I can. Um, what time is it? I don't even know what time it is. It's late for me. I'm tired. I'm not fully well yet, but I had to go out and go to a doctor today. So, it got me out of the house. And so, anyway, that is it for this video, guys. I will see you in my next one. Y'all have a great night. Bye.